Welcome back to the stream, guys and gals. This is Kane, your favorite extreme strategy game. We're back for more. What's this game? Prison Architect. That's right. We have all the DLCs. Uh, we're just going to try playing Sandbox this time because the campaign, also known as the tutorial, was not working out. So I guess that would be create new prison. Oh my god, there's so many settings. Okay, hmm. I guess these are DLC stuff. Former Balesman. Guards drop staff keys less often. Guards stamina replenishes on intake. Dr. Schlegsworth. Crimin's <laughs> criminally insane inmates. Okay, so he is the insanatorium guy. Chance of receiving psychopathic criminally insane inmates is higher. Hmm. Emergency services work 20% faster, arrive earlier. Botanist. Farming industry. Okay. Ecologist. Doubles the value of both exported energy and recycling. Okay, what about the other ones? Balanced individual. The lobbyist. Oh, you get more easily controlled prisoners, I see. Ruthless and terrifying. Fear. Fear mongers. J.W. Periwinkle. Guard dogs have 50% chance of fully uncovering any tunnels they detect. The pacifier. Most violent individuals. Alright. So he's good at making people docile and compliant. Alright. Safara Aknova. Gets a small cut of resale value of each piece of contraband. Oh, she's a criminal! She has a spotless reputation and a squeaky clean record. Uh, she does shady deals. Under the table offerings. Yeah, she's a... She's a criminal. Yeah, it's interesting having a criminal be your warden. Anyway, we'll just go with the regular one. Because I don't know what's good. Um, what kind of god dogs? Alright, god's best friend. How about it? Companion. Okay, so what about this? Oh my god, there's so much stuff. You will lose visibility of the insides of your prison building unless you have guards patrolling the area or have CCTV camera. Let's not have that. I don't know if that's default, but let's not have it. Jungles, okay. So these are all the DLC stuff, I guess. Giving you more different kinds of plots. No, I, I don't need that because I've never played the game, so I don't really need to. Clusters of trees will spoil, peel, peel it in. Lakes. Experimental? No, no, don't need that. Random derelict buildings left behind on your land, which can use as you wish. Don't need that, do you? Failure condition. An extra challenge. You will be sacked. It will be game over if you let things get too bad. Riots, bankruptcy, too many deaths or escapes. Let's not turn that on. What's warden mode? Play as the warden working on site or prison. Oh, okay. What else is good? Uh, gang. Some prisoners will arrive with gang allegiances. Attack rival gang members. Ooh. That sounds realistic. Yeah, there are all these gangs and violent criminals and criminally insane inmates. 
constantly feeling suppressed, require padded cells and psychotic help. Yikes. Okay. Well, yeah, seems fair enough. What's this dynamic reputation? Chance to gain or lose unique reputation traits during your time in prison based on your activities and experience. Sure, that sounds interesting. Uh, causes events to occur during the game to keep you on your toes. Add an extra challenge and oh, sure, that's fine too. Weather and temperature, varying temperatures of prison required. Think about heating, yeah, sure. I guess. Staff needs. Yeah, well, needs for your guards. They require food, rest, other comforts in order to do their jobs. I guess that's okay. Escape plans. Enables more escape options for prisoners. They will now attempt to climb over your walls and try to escape. Um, sure. Unlimited funds. Pure sandbox. And spend as much money as you like right from the start without having to worry about that. Nah, money is interesting. I like to keep that. Start a new game with your entire bureaucracy tree for research. Don't need that. Enable tools and cheats. Nope, don't need that. Okay, so yeah, we have some stuff turned on. Maybe gangs is good too, because they'll just kill each other. Forest is fine. Alright, let's, uh, let's have a go. Let's have a large map. Better, right? I don't know. Doesn't have any... It's just large... Wait, there's mutators. Oh, these are added challenges. Not necessarily balanced. Let's not do that then. The good shit? <laughs> Prisoners who take drugs or alcohol will randomly gain a reputation trait. Making them progressively more difficult to deal with. Okay. Get me out of here. Prisoners are more likely to try and dick their way out of your prison. Alright, okay, I guess these are for extra shenanigans. We don't really need this. We don't really need this. Alright, we'll just stay stay on these. Mm, they look like they already changed the gameplay quite a bit. We just don't want it to be too drastic. Alright, let's go. Okay, so we're here. And our supply truck. We've got bricks, concrete, and we've got workmen. Prisoner intake. We got 30,000 in cash. Wait a second, did I select large? But this is a really small map. I thought it was large. Hmm. This don't look large to me. Alright, it is what it is. What's this task? Going green. A collection of information describing and explaining the key features of going green. Oh. Alright. Just all the DLCs. Eight prisoners arriving in one day. So yeah, we gotta get going. Okay, so this is the garage, this is the deliveries, I suppose. Let's see where they drop them off. Okay, so people get dropped off in deliveries. I guess that's garbage. Okay, um, let's get started then. Foundations. Outdoor only. Okay, so this is the stuff we need to start building. Do we need to focus on this area? Requires entrance. So we need a, um, um, what you call that, um, a reception area, right? Okay. Um, don't know. Do we don't have automatic lights. We'll place it manually. Or we'll just leave it on. Lots of simple large rooms. <laughs> That's exactly what I was planning to do to Bob. I'm planning to do my whole Rimworld thing. Just build really square, really basic rooms and just build lots of them. <laughs> you've seen me play you see me play Rimworld. That's basically what I was thinking of doing. Keep it simple, you know. Just build lots of 
big square rooms and then just yeah you know exactly uh but we i'm not familiar with this because the, the you know the concept of having to you know in process in process these prisoners and then move them to the holding area and then holding area into the actual jail i mean this is still need gonna need some planning <clears throat> so so the first thing we got to build is uh a, a processing area right the reception the processing plant um that has to be built and then we need to put the garbage as well i really don't know um how are we gonna get this done right what do we need for an in-processing area because i'm not very familiar with this game i'm gonna get all the estimations wrong all the size and stuff estimations pretty sure i'll get it wrong a lot so i don't know how big a processing area we need it's uh gonna be a crap shoot i'm just gonna have to roll with something i don't know yeah because i don't know the size of everything that we need uh, let's just go with this is this big enough we don't know maybe hopefully all right and then the doors so this is the reception to the jail 25 15 so this is big enough you need a desk a table one chair no i don't want it to be minimum i want it to be like you know for infinite number of intakes you know this has to be big enough forever because i don't want to change it anymore i just want to build it once and then so what do you usually do for reception do you put a, a jail door or is it like a regular door because other people go in through this place usable by visitors maybe visitors go in through a different door maybe visitors can go in through a side entrance since they don't need to be processed right so if prisoners come in do we push them through a jail that's the main entrance to your prison okay well i'm planning on using this as a processing area for new people i don't think it's like the jail just yet but it's like more of a processing area because if you put a jail door then a guard needs to open it that's the hassle a guard has to open it which is additional work but i i guess it can be correct so we'll have a prison door go in and out all right and what else do you want that's it right i think so maybe we have a side entrance for like visitors and staff this will be the prison entrance with a second entrance for visitors from a comment okay that's fine all right so we'll do that that's the first thing that gets built Okay, stuff we put in there. The last, uh, the last tutorial mission, they, uh, they, I saw them putting benches. Wait, 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 wait. Maybe the door needs to be further up. Because if I put bench here, here, I'm gonna want to put another bench here. Uh, and I don't want it to uh, get in the way of the door. But this kind of gets in the way of the door. Well, I could just make it a little bit bigger. Lots of saves, dress. I don't like the I don't like the save scum. I really don't. Even if there's no reason not to save scum, I just don't like saves coming. Weird. It won't let me build here, but it will let me build here. Did we mess something up already? Did we already screw something up? 
Okay, never mind. Let's just tr let's just let it go cuz I'm not sure if we already messed something up. We might have. Oh, I remember. They 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 had toilets in the last uh in the last one too. They had toilets. Bathrooms. So, yeah, maybe that is something you need to keep take into account. Indoor outdoor. Yeah, but outdoor the entire place is Indoor outdoor, but they let me put benches in some places, but not others. So, and the entire place is still unbuilt. That's the thing. But some places you could put the benches, some places you couldn't. Is it? Is maybe because of the flooring. Maybe some floor is okay and some isn't. I don't know. Well, well, we'll let them build it. In any case, like these look like exactly the same tiles, but some can, some can't. That's okay, we'll figure it out as we go. Also, maybe we shouldn't put jail doors to start. Maybe we should have just left empty, empty walls instead of uh, instead of um, because every time you put these doors, it's gonna slow you down. Can I keep it lock open? Yeah, for now, I'm just gonna keep it locked open. That makes perfect sense. Yep, whatever those doors are, we'll just keep them locked open for now. That should speed things up. Is this finished? There you go. Okay, so this is done. Uh, and what we're going to do is designate this as a reception, isn't it? This is where your prisoners are first taken when they arrive. Office, desk, chairs. What's a holding cell? So a holding cell is not... A room where new recruits are placed until a cell is found for them. Okay, so that's a different thing. Reception is reception. And holding cell is different. Okay, so this is reception. Okay, so I need... Uh, office, desk, tables, chairs. Mm -hmm. Let's get to it. Office, desk... This looks a bit cramped already. Um, but that's okay. How many office desks do I need? One? One, two? Maybe two desks let us process them faster. One is good. The desk is for the guard. Oh, okay. So you just need one? Is that like all you ever need is one? Because if there's plan, it's like if we plan to have another one, then I'll have to leave some space and put it on the side so I don't have to move things around. So if we're only ever going to need one, then I'll put it in the center. But if it's possibly two, I'll put, you know, this side so that I can put another one here later. Officially, you need one. Okay. Maybe I should put it right at the entrance then. Aesthetically, you can as many as you like. Okay. Alright, so we'll just put one and then maybe we'll put another one for the hell of it. Later, ever, if we need. Reception stops new intake from smuggling contraband into the prison, basically. That's what they do. Okay. Tables are for uniforms for prisoners. Ah, oh, cool. Okay, cool. Because don't forget, I don't know anything about this game. Like, seriously, nothing. 
So, yeah, we're just gonna kind of figure our way out with you guys telling me what's up. So we could do it this way. I think that's better. Okay, and then like that. Because then I can put a few here. We don't need uh we don't need like restrooms for this place, right? Because the holding cell is where I think you need the restrooms and shit. The wiki shows one desk? Okay. So if we have five, it should be fine, yeah. Five desk thingies. And then we'll put a, a probably another desk here just for the hell of it later. But four five five benches. Uh yeah, that should do it. And a desk, and that is it. And the next one will be a holding area, right? That's the actual prison thingy. I need what table? But that that they said desk. Oh, you need a, you need a table. Oh, okay, my bad. It's not the same thing. Uh, table. So the the desk is for the guard. The table is for them to get uniforms. Right. So, ooh, that's that's one fancy table. That's too big, yeah. For eating at. Goes excellently with a chair. Yikes, that is a big table. So I suppose if we use something this big, we'll have to push the desk, the office desk, uh, to the right. If we use a small table, would it be better? Oh, it's neater for sure. Put them on edge zero, they work. The big ones are in the wiki. Well, yeah, but the, the big one also looks like it's too big even just to fit in. It looks really ugly. Will a small table do it? It says it does. And then I need chairs. Can be on edges as, as in what? Like that? Don't people have to stand behind these tables? Doesn't don't you need like people on the other side of the table at all? Or you don't? So you can put a giant table like that. So is that just for people to pick up your uniforms? They never they, you don't need somebody on the other side handing them things. The long ones, not a giant one. So like that. Then I guess I can shift the desk to the right. But if I, I put them here too, right? Or will somebody go on the other side and mess up? I guess it's better if we just leave it like that. Okay, then maybe... Maybe the desk needs to be something else. Like here. Then uh, we give him an office chair, right? And then we need regular chairs, do we? Oh no, we already have an office chair. Does anybody need to stand in front of the desk or sit in front of the desk? Small table holds two uniforms. Large white one holds four uniforms. Okay, so... Four uniforms there for them to pick up and one receptionist desk. Cool. So do I need chairs for people to sit on? Like I mean it's this kind of chairs. No? Okay so I can just leave it right because that's just for the guard and the guard's not gonna do anything. So we should be fine. I mean, if, if nobody even comes here to sit, like, you know, going to talk to somebody, if this is just for a guard, the guard doesn't talk to anybody. So they'll just sit here and then pick up the uniform and get the hell out, right? So we just need a desk 
because they say you need a desk, but you don't actually use anything. Use it, you don't actually use it for anything. So it should be fine, I think. Yeah, okay, let's unpause and then let them do the thing. We also don't have a whole lot of cash since we started sandbox mode. Maybe we should have put the reception someplace else because this is garbage and deliveries. So deliveries are going to come in through here. Like, why... You know, prisoners are going to come in through some other entrance. We should have put it somewhere else. Because this will clog up my deliveries entrance. Yeah, we might have screwed up already. <laughs> We're putting this in, and this is where deliveries come in. So we already messed up. Okay, let's add extra things so that not everybody is waiting for one thing to get done. Okay, so concrete. So this is going to be, uh, I suppose, the holding, holding area. Right, then I remembered seeing a toilet in the in the other guy's holding area, so they take their uniforms and then they go into the holding zone, correct? So I guess this is equal or slightly bigger because you need to put toilets in there. How'd this look? Maybe a bit bigger. Then uh, we put some toilets in there. Holding cell is a normal cell for many people that do not have a cell on. Gotcha! That is a good description, Boscaro. Okay, so it's an actual jail. It's an actual jail cell until you can get them a single cell, right? Okay, so so now it's uh, it's good. It's clear. It's clear. I got the cl clarity. So it's it's a jail. Till they get another place. Okay, and then after that, we'll escort them to wherever they gotta go. Which is like into the... Into the proper... Wait a second, why isn't it letting me place... What the heck? What the heck? Really? Can't place a door there? Because the trees are there. Hmm. But if I don't place this right away, then it will build walls. Then I have to get rid of the walls after to put the thing. Oh man, what a pain. So, so a holding cell can have people sleep in there, right? Or do they never sleep in there? Because the tutorial... Their holding cell did not have beds in it. This their holding cell only had uh, chairs and a bench, and and bathrooms, and that was it. Hmm. Okay, so thinking out loud, let's say we go concrete. Okay, and then these will be bathroom units. Oh, I have to wait till I finish the foundation. Alright, they can sleep in there if you make beds, but it makes them really upset if you keep them too long in the holding cell and might riot. Oh, wow. Rioting in the holding cell! <laughs> nice! Alright. Not what I expected, but okay. Since this is going to take a while.
Yeah, they do have a very strange way of deciding what to build next. But in any case, that's how they do it. And the trees are still up, so I still can't get... So what do I do? Am I supposed to chop the trees? Dismantle object? Alright, don't don't uh, don't dismantle my base, but the trees for sure gotta go. That should do something. Yeah, chopping trees. Good for them. Do I need more more, more workmen? Maybe I should. Okay, four more workmen. Let's go. Get to work, guys. Get to work. Okay, so is the room complete? It is. Now I have to demolish. Well, I don't have to demolish. I can just build up a door over it, right? Okay. Air smells about right. Okay. And then, um... Benches and bathrooms and those kinds of things. Should I put the sinks in the bathrooms? Same thing, right? I'm only going to build two. So I may as well put the... Put the, the toilet and the sink in there and then that's it. Okay, and then uh, I guess a regular wall uh, door will do it because they're already in locked up in here. So just a regular door, regular door for toilet. Okay, and then we put the toilet tree. here then you wash yourself and then you go where's the wash thingy okay that should do it right Oh, they give you money if you sell the logs? Can't I use the wood for my own things? I thought that you would need the wood for something. Alright, in any case, okay, so... Um, yeah, lights don't have power yet, but that's okay. What do we do? Chairs? Okay, I need to designate this as a... Wait, maybe, maybe finish this toilet first. Okay. Is that is that good? Let let them put the doors in because after you designate the room, sometimes they they kind of be weird. They kind of be really weird. Okay. 
Okay, so something is done. So we need to designate this as a holding cell. Okay, that's entirely in the holding cell. And um, hmm, what else is good? Mm, let's see. Um, benches, benches, right? Oh, you even you can even have a shower in the holding cell, huh? Oak bench. Goes great with oak table. Okay, we're just going to use regular benches. All right, so four benches, or maybe another one, just uh, just in case. Oh, I could squeeze it right to the end, and I could fit even more benches. Why not? I mean, it's just a holding area, so it's fine to have it a bit larger. They're just going to wait there anyway. All right, and then we need to start planning the rest, right? So this can be going out into the main courtyard, and then we'll start to build, uh, um, which we call it, um, the rest of the prison. The rest of the prison. Okay, so let's think. Oh, you can once you develop prison labor and make carpenters. Cool. So I'm thinking about creating walkways. So is two by two big enough or do we need three by three walkways to make it look good? Don't know. But these will be the cell blocks, right? This I'm starting to build the cell blocks now. Okay, so how big do the cells need to be? Um, uh, hmm. so in the tutorial, the last tutorial mission, I saw some really small ones. They were like three by two in space, three by two in space. And all they had was a toilet and a bed. That looks like, like a regular, like a regular bedroom in Rimwall, <laughs> three by two, but no toilets. All you get is a bed. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll give them three unit, three tiles of space for the walkway so that when you let a guard patrol through it, it looks nicer because they can go straight through the middle. Oh, we can make them even smaller. Okay. But you, do you really want to make them that small? Because aren't prisoners going to be upset if you make them that small? I thought the whole point of, you know, of building a prison is to make it nice so that your prisoners will be happy. But I suppose that's not always the case, huh? Ah, this is going to be huge. We can't make it too big because we don't have money. Happy prisoners or suppressed prisoners? Yeah, the tutorial did talk about that. You can either rule through fear or, you know, some other way.
since I, I'm not very familiar with this game, I don't know exactly what size is right. Cell size, impact cell grade, yeah. But I noticed that uh, certain types of prisoners want certain grades of cells. So you can't just build really nice cells and throw everybody in it because certain prisoners will not go into the nice cells. 20 squares is the max bonus for grid. Okay. I, that's what I did for the last one. 5 by 4s, which were 20. So this is going to be a giant cell block, and then inside we'll, we'll put all the 3 by 2 cells, I suppose. Lots and lots of 3 by 2 cells. So if we're going to do 3 by 2 cells, why don't we just make it slightly smaller? Okay, so this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. Alright, 3 tiles and then 2 tiles of outside area. And then 3 more tiles. Oh yeah, and then the, um, the wall, so I need 2 more tiles. Okay, that should be it, I think. Maybe I should count upwards as well, oops, oops, I hate doing this, but okay, so that's one. Then wall, another one, wall, another one, wall, another one, oops, wall, another one, wall, another one, and wall. Okay, maybe that's, that's enough. Bigger is getting messier. Okay, so we do that. Alright, one, two, three, wall. And then down here, one, two, three, wall. Okay, okay, hopefully this is the right play. Uh, and then we can put the wall, the doors in. Watch jail door, right smack dab in the shanner. Oh, shit. Can't put it in the center. Alright, the damn tree is in the way. Do I need more workers? Because I don't know. We, we seem to need a lot of workers at the start because all we're doing is building. But it drains away my money. Can I put the door yet? Yep. Okay, and I can also build the internals. Oh, no, no, I can't. Not until the entire structure is complete. Oh, you mix the cells? I, I want to be consistent, so I'll keep the entire cell block the same type of cell. If I want to put different size um, cells, I would put them in different blocks. So this will be very specific. So this will be the 3 by 2s And then I'll build like a giant shower block. And, you know, giant canteen and all that.
Prisoners are arriving in 15 hours. No, I don't need to stop them. I, I don't need more time. I just need to be sure we're doing it right. I also need the uh, you know to build the machines, right? The the water, electricity and stuff. Because otherwise we will have no water at all. That would be bad. Okay, these guys are ready. The automated lights can be kind of bad because they place them in really bad places sometimes. Uh-oh, we messed it up. This is a 3x3. Three three. Yeah, we miscalculated. Well, I guess somebody gets a luxury room. So whoever stays in the end room gets the luxury. And the lights all done wrong cuz somebody has no lights. But you can take the prisoners in while you're still building the kitchen and all that, so it should be all right. I mean, hopefully, hopefully Okay, so the first intake is 8 prisoners, so just need to sort this out. Okay, so now we just need um, beds and toilets. Okay, I'll do the doors last because the doors are a bit annoying. Okay, get to it. 13,000 left, hopefully we have enough money. <laughs> giant shower room sounds fun. Yep, we're gonna build giant everythings. So yep, giant showers.
I don't think I like the automatic lights. I'm going to turn it off because they always place them in the wrong places. And then I have to rebuild them anyway. And lights cost money too, right? I'm sure they cost you money. So we have to keep taking them off and placing them again. I guess it's not, not really good. Oh, you keep them in inventory? Okay, so it's not that bad. But it's okay, I think I think placing lights yourself could be better. It doesn't double your workload because now you have to move them to the right spots. I think it's acceptable. And they place them one one two Well let me just come from here. One, two, three, four tiles apart. Three tiles in between, yeah. So we can do it ourselves. Yeah, we can do it ourselves. 300 lights in your storage. <laughs> Never use auto light again. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, the same thing, because they keep placing it wrong, and you have to do the labor twice. You install them once, and then you move them, so you're using double the, the labor. That's what I'm thinking. It's, it's not efficient. You're doubling your workload because every time you have to move them, someone has to go do it. Someone has to take the light, put it in storage, take another light, put it in a new spot. It's just not efficient. Right, what else can we be doing while waiting for these things? Because I, I can do plenty of uh, work while waiting. Um, we need a kitchen block. We also need the uh, equipment thingies. Um, hmm. Maybe I'll use this area for the power supply stuff. I don't know how big it needs to be. How big does a power supply station need to be? 5x5 five five interior, 3x3 three three for generators, and one space all around for batteries. Okay. Well, this should be big enough, right? For a bunch of power and water thingies. Hopefully, anyway. Way too big? Okay, smaller, like that. No, I'm planning ahead. I'm planning to put like four power generators, two pumps, you know that. I'm not building one. I'm building many, many. I'm just not building them yet. I'm leaving the space to build them later. I always plan ahead. You can't have more than one power generator per circuit. Okay, the last tutorial had three power generators. And pumps can be stacked, right? So you can have lots of pumps. Okay, I think this will do it. The last one was bigger than this, I think. Okay, so I'm going to put a, a jail door here so that people can take out the garbage. Do I need to just... Do walls and then put a door.
bars wall sections on top of foundations to create new areas or rooms Whoa. no no I need a door jail door This is for garbage. Long distance pipes not feasible. I see. Eleven hours and then they come, but I think we're okay. Electricity and then a stove thingy, cooking thingy, and then we can get going. We can set up a kitchen here and then the cooking area here. Something like that. I can set up the center area as the yard. Anyway, money's running out, so hmm. Maybe we took too planning too big. But that's what I always end up doing. <laughs> I always end up doing too big. Oh, require entrance. That's right. This one we can use staff doors right for the power thingy because no one else is supposed to go in yeah just put one door and just a staff door time for a grant oh you can get more money I require a warden. Oh, I can't. I have to have a warden first. And warden needs an office, so I haven't built anything yet. <laughs> no way I can fit that in. At least not yet. Okay, this is done. Good. So next step, power stuff. You need to specify a power place. Don't look like it. Don't look like it. So we can just um, just put the thing there, I guess. Time to shove the ward in the fast station. <laughs> but you need to build him an office and all that kind of stuff, right? So Water Pump and Power Station. Oh my god, it costs five thousand. I can't afford to build this. What? I have the most sparse jail. First one is free, oh is it? Oh you have one already. Okay, okay, so the first one is okay. Great! Because we cannot afford it otherwise. 
All right, so one here and then all the shenanigans around it. Whoa. And then two of the other ones will be pumps, I suppose. Let me just put the water pump thing. Is it the same size? Yeah, they're the same size. But the water pumps don't require uh, spaces all around to build all the fancy things. There's still plenty of space. Okay. Also, we may as well start ordering the pipes yeah, the pipes and the electric cabling. I mean, it's not like it's gonna change. Okay, and then a water pipe, arch pipes. Yeah, and then we'll wait for this to be built first because I don't think it handles double building stacks. Wait for that to be done. Small pipes we can run through. Okay, that should do it for now. Oh yeah, and we need capacitor stuff. Wait a second, why is this output here? We are going up that way. I guess it doesn't matter, I'll build a few of these.
Oh, we paused. <laughs> My bad. I was waiting for something to happen, but there it was forced. Okay, we can continue building now. Well, are we looking at eight hours? Okay, that's fine. No, well, hopefully. Because money is running pretty thin. And we still need a kitchen. We may have over budgeted. Or under budgeted, depending on how you see it. Did they build all of that yet? I think so. Yeah, basically we're overlapping the power and the water in the same line. So it looks tidier. Although it makes it slower because you have to wait for one to be built before you can build the second one. I still think it's better because it's tidier. Wait, why is the water pump not working? Oh, it needs power too! Who would tunk it, huh? Need power to keep the water thing going, so we'll connect the water. Wait a second, I thought there was a power thingy here. Yeah, it's there, right? Yeah, it should be there. I don't know why it's not showing, but okay. There should be one power thingy here, so we just need this too. I hope so, anyway. Now, I'm only seeing the ones that are planned for building. It seems connected. Uh, it looks connected. Should be fine. Yeah, it should be fine. Okay, water pumps looking good. So let's get the small pipes and connect all the little bits. The first one I can do this because cheaper that way. And the rest I will pump it out of here. Good thing they're cheap. Because money is getting kind of tight. Alright, we need power as well. I've got four hours, we need to build a kitchen. 
all the other stuff is working. Okay, kitchen, kitchen, uh, kitchen and then canteen. Uh, and then I need to start locking up all the stuff. Need to secure the zone. Alright, so this can be the kitchen. It's a really huge area. We have 4,000 left. We really need to save. And foundation is quite expensive. Yeah, it's really expensive. Um, hmm. I need to close this area up and then I need a shower area somewhere. I also need a cooking area. I can I I guess I can expand it later. For now we should make it a small one so that I can get it to work. That's good enough. Don't know, is it? Should be. Should hopefully be big enough. I need like what a couple of cooking stations and a, f a couple of fridge thingies. And then a uh, door. This will be a staff door. All right, and then canteen right next to it. Got to set up the foundations. This one we're going to eat tables and chairs and all that good stuff. Let's keep it small because we're running out of money. Okay, so for kitchens, do you need to, to jail it? You'll need to, right? Because prisoners have to keep going in to eat. So it almost doesn't make sense. Okay, so let's go with doors. Double staff doors. This will only be used for us to bring food in. And then we'll serve them through here. And we'll keep it simple for now because we don't have that many prisoners anyway. Uh, but yeah, we still need uh, a regular door for everybody else. Okay, hopefully this works, <laughs> hopefully. One cooker, one fridge, one sink. Oh, what? You washed the dishes in the kitchen? I didn't know that. My previous kitchens never had, never had a sink. It was just fridges and stuff. Oh, it's good to know because 
guess I did all my other fridges, uh, all my other kitchens wrong. Okay, now I can see kitchen specific buildings. Yes. Oh, no, 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 we did, we did, we did. We, we built one sink. So you don't need like four sinks. It was just one sink and then all the others were other things. Connected to hot water. Wow, how do you connect it to hot water? Okay, anyway, cookers. Cookers and shit. So we'll do two cookers. Well, that's a thousand bucks. <gasps> we better not. We have no money. Oh shit. Will we get our money back? No, we did not. We did not get our money back. I need a fridge. Rip me. And I need a sink. We're gonna have trouble, we don't have money now. Okay, so, um... I need tables and chairs. We're really, really broke. Uh, we need the piping as well. Otherwise, this thing will not even power up, right? Yeah, I, I guess the stove will need power. I'm assuming it's an electric stove. So... Electric, okay, so we'll still need to be built. We are already broke. I want to go through the front though, because I might have a different power system here. Or maybe go through the back. Go through the back, and then uh, we'll use a different power system. Sink neat water. Yeah, we'll sink neat water and sink neat power, among other shenanigans. Well, we're at if many's. Okay. Cash flow is 2,000 a day. We're broke. We'll take the best. We'll take the prisoners and use that money from the prisoner intake to invest in other areas. Like finishing the kitchen, <laughs> finishing the kitchen and all the other shenanigans. And the canteen. We'll do that once we have prisoners. Oh, is there a storage area? We didn't build a storage area, right? Maybe I can set a storage area here so at least we can get rid of all these logs. Or just leave it, I don't know. Mm, yeah, it's fine. I also turned off auto light, so there's actually no light in here now. But that is a problem for when you have money. Okay, so we'll create canteen. Okay, uh, and then we'll have canteen specific buildings, which we don't have money to build until we wait for later. That's fine. We shall wait for later. It will happen. Eventually.
So 18 minutes and then we'll get a bit of cash and then we'll finish the canteen and kitchen. Wait a second, you have no power, but I thought I connected power. You can't reach, seriously? All right. Get the money and then we'll figure it out. Oh yeah, there you go. Money is in. Okay, so prisoners are still not here yet. No, 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 they did, they did. I thought I was supposed to get 3,000-ish. So I got a lot less money than I expected. Okay, so we need um, another kitchen shenanigan. Cooker. This should connect them both, right? And then we need the benches. And tables. Wait a second, why isn't this allowed? Oh, that's weird. Oh. Serving table, let's try a serving table first. Wait, why isn't this allowed? Insufficient funds. Oh, that's cash flow. I still don't have any money. Yeah, yeah, that was cash flow. Cash flow is a thousand. Ah, there you go. Now I got money. Now I got real money. Okay, so now I can build serving thingy. Okay, and then tables, and benches, well for now this will do, it is very untidy, people don't have a lot of space to walk around but this will do for now. Alright, so this is powered. No, it's not. Gotta get the power to it first. Um, let's get some more electricity. Blowing. Maybe this will do it. What is that doing there? Like... What is that even doing there? Can I power that? Oh, maybe that's where you need to be powered. Okay, let's take that away and then... Connect that. Yeah, I guess that's how they like to be powered up. Just fine. Have it your way. Now I need water. Oh, there's a hot water pipe. Well, we don't have hot water yet. No central hot water, so. Okay, we don't want that. Okay, that should do it. Okay. Right, right. Hopefully. Hopefully. Uh, we still need to build a shower. Showering block. Maybe a big shower area here. Until we have enough money to... Build a base bigger. One, two, three, one.
Okay. We have to start locking this area up. Okay, and then we'll put some gates and then uh should be fine. Alright, prisoners are in. Oh, I don't have any guards yet. I better hire some guards. Okay, two guards for now. So we can in-pro. Um, no need to lock. No need to lock open at least. And then I uh, have to start putting more jail doors here. Oh, that, that's 350, shit. Did not think it was going to be that expensive. No money. Okay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Alrighty. Wait. Oh, they're waiting for a guy to open it. Shit, so they can't work. Can I just keep this open for now? There you go. Because <laughs> they can't work. It's not good. heck they put him in the toilet it's like you we're throwing you in the toilet go wash your hands you're a covid risk they didn't even strip this guy he's still wearing civilian clothing or maybe that's supposed to be the the look of it. Can we bring them to their cells? Can I move it? Nah. So, are we ever going to bring them to their actual cells? This is just a holding cell. No prisoners assigned to eat this canteen. Well... Right, I also need a, a gate for the showers. 
They don't need to be locked in, do they? I'm hoping not. Let's put a simple double door. So why are we not moving people in here? These guys are both assigned to this place. That's not right. Okay, so are we doing it wrong? We might have mucked up the whole thing. I can't deploy. What did we screw up? The two guards are not working in other rooms. They're stuck in here. Even though there are no new people, prisoners. Yeah, it's kind of derpy. Because they're supposed to be brought into their cells. Since this is just a holding cell. It is not working. Rip me. I can't hire janitors either, so I can't clean. Oh no, we're doomed. Okay, so yeah, that's the thing. We don't really know how to play this game. So our starting jail has already failed. Oh, maybe I have to click there. What's that? Don't know. Easter. Found an Easter egg. Why are all these bricks here anyway? What the purpose of... What's the purpose of these bricks? Oh, uh, okay. What do we do wrong? Don't know, guys. I don't know. Should be one of my first hires. Oh, great. We never hired a warden. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, I need cooks too. Okay. Great. No money for cook. Alright, yeah, we. Yeah, I, I don't really think I spent too much money on other things other than foundation. Hey, <laughs> what's up, Pudgy? Yeah, you're here just in time to see our first jail fail. It's not even that big. It's, it's incredibly minute by Kane's standards. By Kane's condo standards, this is aesthetic. And still, we couldn't afford to build it. Couldn't afford to put the doors, and so they don't let them out, or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on, to be honest, because there is doors for these cells. They're just not taking them out. What are we doing? We can't hire a chef, because we ain't got the money. We got the power up, though. We just don't have the money. Oh no! Rip. Can I fire all these guys? I don't need workers. How do I fire them? Okay, let's keep six. That's great for cash flow, but we're still broke. Uh, 
Doors. We need one more door here and then they would consider this closed. I still have all these logs. Maybe put a room called storage. Uh huh. Yeah, go store stuff. Maybe these doors can close and they will stop derping. There you go. Stop derping! Allow the doors to close and stop bloody derping. They still don't look like they want to bring them to their actual cells. Pissed off. He's not wanting to bring people to their cells. Alright, I think our first uh first prison is a bust. <sighs> hmm. Doors are all in though. So they're going to starve to death and riot. Oh, great. So we're not moving them to their cells. Uh, there's no canteens accessible by these cell prisoners who have no to eat. Yeah, but I'm just... All I'm trying to do is move them to their regular cells. They won't even do that. And I need to build one more door. Gate, whatever you call it. Oh, this guy is waiting for the door to be open. He can't even go in. Come on, go help him. There, enjoy. No, the door's closed. <laughs> now he wants to wait to come up. Oh, it's like, oh, you got locked in. It's tough luck, son. Oh, my goodness. Much efficiency here. Much efficiency. Now he's going to wait another hour until the guard comes and opens the door for him. But that's okay. We don't have a we don't have a cook, so everyone's going to starve to death anyway. And we don't have a shower. This was going to be the shower. It's just not there yet. All right. So we we clearly spent too much money on foundation because we basically died uh, without finishing the base. It's a really simple base. It's really sparse. It's you know, one to two X of stuff. It's really quite simple. But we ran out of money anyway. Alright, we have enough to build a door. So finally we can close this up. Okay, that means the entire internals are secure. Okay, I suppose next time we have to start with something extremely simple because there is no money. 
like no giant rooms like this because we're paying so much money for foundation and we're not actually using it all Also, what's the thing about warmth? Are we supposed to be able to build heaters yet? I don't see heaters. Uh, I don't see heaters. But I, I picked the difficulty setting that... Requires heating. Ah, there you go, radiators. Right, don't have two hundred bucks. I guess we're we just we just overcommitted. We just built a little too big. We have to build a much smaller base. Not really much smaller. I guess just don't put this. Don't make this too big. Honestly, I don't see how we overkill that much. Not that big, not that many rooms, not that much foundation. But foundation is extremely expensive, so that's probably what killed us. I guess next time, we gotta build a very small, very basic one. And then, once we get money, we can expand. But not, not before, because, you know, we over planned, and there's just no way... Yeah, no money. No way. Also, it looks like um, the guards will not transfer them to their actual cells. So we'll have a riot on our hands. Oh, I did not define them in cells. <gasps> oh! Oh, shit. Oh, wait, it became a mega cell. Okay, that's wrong. Now you tell me. <laughs> okay, can we at least... There you go. Come on, open up. Yeah, at least we can put them in their cells. Oh, everybody needs their cells opened. Oh, you were AFK? Damn it. <laughs> we needed you. No one else seems to know what's going on. Okay, so there you go. There you go. Okay, finally. Right, because we never designated them as cells. Okay, so now that that's done... All we gotta do is hire a chef and we're good. Right? Oh, I needed a chef and we will then build the showers and things can maybe recover. Maybe. All we need is 200 more monies. Oh dear, we're just not rich. And we also don't have a warden. We don't have a warden's office. How on earth are you supposed to be able to afford a warden's office anyway? The warden's already a thousand bucks. And then if you want to build a warden's office, it's, it's more work. How are you going to do it? Okay, go cook. 
or something. What what are you doing? Go cook. Why are you derping? Why aren't you cooking? Everyone's hungry. Laundry for uniforms? Yeah, but that that's a later problem, right? That's not a problem for right now. Schedule? Schedule? What schedule? Isn't that default? Cooking? Oh, they're dressed according to their security status. Okay, so the gray ones are minimum security. Got it. Right, so all these grant money. So we needed we needed a warden early because with the warden we can take all the grant money. Click on the lockup below the clock. Yeah, we need. We don't have a warden. Great, eh? we have no money to get a warden. Yep, we clearly messed this one up. More prisoners! Let's process them anyway. In our little hunk heap of doopy doo come on in have fun we ain't got space in the jail but have fun anyway People are getting mad and breaking stuff. Oh, have they broken out of jail already? Oh, at least the guy is cooking now. At least <laughs> somebody is cooking. Alright, so we have 4,000. Yay, we're rich. Uh, not really, but you know what I mean. Okay, so now we can afford to hire a warden. And then we need an office for him. Hey, how about this being his office? Uh, but we need the... Uh, what do we need? I don't know, something. Yeah, maybe we should just close up that area and make it his office. Like, literally close it up. Um, concrete. Okay. Door. Do you need... I mean, does does any prisoner even go to the warden's office? They don't, right? So, maybe just a single door. And then uh, as basic as possible for the warden's office. Oh wait, it ha we have to build the walls first. We gotta build the walls first and then we can assign it. Okay, so that's done, so now I can assign it as an office. Okay, and then I can put the things that needs to be in that office. Which is an office desk. Uh, 
Um, office chair. And then... Filing cabinet. Yeah, that's it, right? That's all I need. Yep. And then uh, the warden can take over. There, okay, so warden's taken over. Now we can do stuff. Oh, crap. Where are we at? Um, grunts. Got more prisoners than we can take. Uh, some of them have cells. Um, okay, I'm gonna need cleaners. Can't get janitors? What? Really? Oh, there's no lights in there because we disabled lights. One light should do it. Okay. Well, maybe I need some here as well. There's no light at all here. So I can't get janitors. What do I need to get janitors? The four man. Where are janitors? Janitors need to be researched? You're kidding me! You think janitors need to be researched? Alright, so I need the maintenance guy. <laughs> then I can recruit a janitor, oh my god. How on earth is cleaning a high-tech job? Uh, you know what, we'll just let them escape. We don't have space to keep them anyway. Alright, you know what, I'm gonna take more guards. And then... I don't have deployment? Oh, great. Is that a research thing as well? Where is the deployment? Oh my goodness, really? Alright. It is. We cannot clean until we've done the research. Oh, and we don't have power coming into that yet. So. Riots yet? Nope, lots of escapers. I can't believe they put something so basic under research, so you gotta research before you can clean. Who the hell? I mean, come on, let's face it, cleaning is the most basic thing. That everybody does. You don't even need to be trained. You just need to be told what to clean and you should be able to just figure it out. But no. No, you cannot. You must research cleaning technology. Impossible, but it's possible. 
And we don't have deployments either, so I can't tell them to go into some other room. Great. We still don't have showers. Uh, but I have to run the water first. Yeah, forget it, we won't have the time. Actually, it's coming up all the way up here, right? Maybe I can... Yeah, it's not that bad. I think. Okay, so, uh, shower. Uh, there. Yard would be here, I guess. Behind at least one door. Well, there is doors. Uh huh. We locked it, so it is secure. And I just need the showers to have showers. For now at least. for it people go take your showers I think it needs lights as well but we better run the pipes first can't do them both Okay, so now I can set uh, programs or regimes. Okay, so shower time, um, free time, plenty of free time, eat, go to sleep, cool. All right. Are we actually going to recover from this? I hope so. Can I get janitors yet? No? Don't have 2,000 bucks carry such cleaners. Ah, The filth, man. Yeah, but it's all research. I, I can't research that far yet. See, it's either I research cleaning or prison labor.
But if we wanted to do prison labor, then we cannot make these doors. These are all staff doors. So if we wanted to do prison labor from the get-go, we would have not used staff doors and just used regular doors so that the kitchen can be manned by prisoners. But unfortunately, we did not do that. Next time, first thing you do, get a warden, build him an office, and then he can start researching. There's some really basic things that I thought that would be unlocked immediately, but they're not. And this door is locked. Damn. Oh, if I let them in the kitchen, they'll be running around with knives. That's not good. Oh wait, we got we got sudden influx of cash. Where'd that come from? Oh, prisoner intake. Okay, so we got we got thirty nine. <laughs> what? Where they come from? Thirty nine prisoners. Okay, that gave me cash though. That gave me cash, so if I can get some more stuff done. Um, maybe I can build another block. One, two. That's wall, doors. One wall, one, two, three. Okay, that's how we go. Something like that. And then door. That will be... Oh, did I get it wrong? Oh yeah, I totally got it wrong. Totally got it wrong. Wrong sizing. That should be correct. Hopefully. Hopefully that's the right one. Let's check. Yeah, that's the right one. Okay, so now uh, let's get them finished dish and then that will be a new cell block for lots of new people. Oh boy, everyone is routing around this area. I'm gonna need more guards. Come on, open the door. Let them in. Do what you gotta do. But let them in. They're gang members. We got guys with tats. Yeah. <laughs> they might start fighting immediately. Workers gotta work, so let's keep it open for now. <gasps> You're trying to escape. No, you're not. Oh, oh, you want to fight? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he does want to fight. No infirmary, though. I don't know what to do about that. Uh, can we do some more research? Ah, uh, no money? No, we do. We do have money. Yeah, these two things you gotta need. Whoa, look at all of them go. 
Holy nuts. Okay. Need more cooks, yeah? I need more uh, machinery as well. Oh, I need a, a rubbish thingy, right? Yeah, bin thingy. You need one here as well. <laughs> we don't have anything. Look at them all. I don't have anything. Just doing my best here. I don't even have janitors, god damn it. Uh, how do I get jan I need a foreman. Okay, I need a foreman. Can I get janitors now, please? No, he doesn't have an office. Can you guys share an office? Come on guys, don't be so fussy. Share the office. Share it. Alright, we'll make this guy's office over here. I don't know what else to do. Put his office here and then we'll figure it out. And a light, of course. But of course. Oh no, mass escape. Oh no, they came to get clothing. Can I get janitors now? Who are you kidding? I still can't get janitors. Not until I finish up his room. Okay, now it's a room. Um, set it up as an office. It's an ugly looking office, but it's an office. So he can claim it, and then maybe I can get janitors. Yeah, it's a foreman's office now. Where are my janitors? Still no janitors. Oh, we haven't, we don't have the tech for him yet. Oh, are you kidding me? But that's gardener. No, no, wrong one. Wrong guy, man. The cleaner. Oh, I researched the wrong one. Great. Alright. I researched the wrong one. <laughs> so now I have a gardener with no garden. 
and I have no cleaner still. <laughs> ah. But anyway, this is done, so that's nice. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Let's do what we gotta do. So, yeah. and then, um, it's crappy bits, but bits nonetheless. No money, okay, forget it. We'll just get the infrastructure built, but we haven't got money to put them in yet. Oh, this looks like a really packed prison. We're taking more prisoners than we can actually afford to maintain, but... Yeah, we do what we gotta do. They can live 24 hours in filth like they are. Yep! 25 more coming! Yay! We'll have money! We'll get rich! We are going to get rich, guys. Clearly. This is the way to go! I need a chief in order to build, in order to do deployment. Well, I don't have room for a chief. Well, I don't have an office for a chief. Um, whoa, look at all the prisoners. Waiting to go for chow time. That what you want? Chow time? That's what they want. Chow time. Look at what we got. We got bacon. We got some greens. And we got some stew. Help yourself. Help yourself, boys. Tuck in. No, I didn't limit the intakes. Besides, we need the money. Let's have all of them show up and then stab each other to death. And then we'll make more room. <laughs> that is the way. That is the way. Lock the damn thing open so we can do this fast. Probably lock that open too. So you don't need a guard to go open it. Oh boy, this is a really packed kitchen. Alright, we should probably limit the intakes, but I need the money though. The only way we're getting paid is prisoner intakes. They really should kill each other. <laughs> if they stab each other to death, we'll have more space. Wouldn't we? And it sure is good to have more room. <laughs> yeah, there's not enough food for everybody. Anyway, the, the, some of them are gang members, so they should start immediately fighting. Right? Since they're in different gangs, they can start like gang fighting. They should kill each other. I don't know, maybe toss a few trays at each other and then stab each other to death. Something along those lines. And then, uh, yeah, that'll make some space. Ah. Yeah, we'll totally make some space. As we continue living in filth. Nope, still can't do it because uh, we researched the wrong tech. Yep. Three more hours. One serving table has enough food for 32 prisoners. 
Well, that's only if we don't cook, right? If we can keep cooking, we'll get even more food on there. Once the the food is gone. Anyway, it's good to know one serving table has enough for 32. Oh, really? They make enough food to fit the tables. Yeah, but once this, there's an empty slot, won't they start cooking more? Oh, they look like they don't, actually. So, yeah, there's empty places to serve, but they don't cook more food to put on the tables. So, we must take that into account in the future. Good to know. Two hours to cook the food. Oh. Right. I, li I like watching them stack the trays though. This is something uh, Rimmel doesn't do. Watching them stack the trays and then carry stacks of trays rather than the super inefficient method of bringing just one tray back and then coming for another tray that happens in Rimwall. I, I see some improvements that it has over Rimwall. And it's also, there are certain things that I think Rimwall does better but I can definitely see some improvements in the AI and the efficiency. There's some things Rimo just does wrong. Just flat out wrong. And then there's some things that this game just does wrong. It's like no game has got everything right. Yeah, I mean once the lunchtime's over, I think that's what they do. They just toss it. They toss all of it. And then... They go clean the trays. Um, perhaps they need another sink so they can wash double speed. It's only 20 bucks for a sink. Here, have a sink. What's a workman doing walking around when I have this sink to be installed and no one's doing it? Maybe they're waiting for it to be delivered. Yeah, that looks like maybe it could be the sink. Is it? Don't know. Maybe. There's a still there's still a stack of trays, no one's managing that. No one's washing it or managing it. Anyway, I'm glad I got to try this game because I can see a lot of improvements Rimmel could make based on some of the changes I've seen, especially the stacking stuff. That is cool. Rimmel needs to do that. Totally needs to do that. There you go, another sink. So now two of you guys can clean trays. Or no, uh, like, yeah, they're all busy doing nothing. Guess they don't want to clean trays. Or maybe all the trays are stacked on one sink and they don't want to take it. Have they started stabbing each other yet? No? How if we made double bunk beds in here instead of single because we don't have space? 
about yeah double double bunks it's 500 actually we have a problem with cash so this might be a problem yeah I don't have the money so if we put double beds then we can squeeze more people in the same amount of space twice the amount of people in the same amount of space yeah but it's 500 bucks a bunk we don't have the money for that so if we take 10,000 from taking that full intake, then we'll start throwing all the bunks up. But we're still going to be, yeah, in trouble. Borrow from the bank with no intent to pay back. Well, that's what we're doing by taking all the prisoners with no space for to put them. We're basically doing the same thing. Kind of, anyway. When you have an accountant, you can borrow money. Is that how it works? I had an accountant in the in the last tutorial mission thingy. But also, we didn't have any money problems because we had so much money in the tutorial. We had all kinds of other problems, but money was not one of them. The office isn't filthy yet? No, it's filthy, man. It is filthy. Looks like there are even worms running around in there. Yep, the filth is confirmed. Pretty damn filthy. Can't see doesn't count. <laughs> That's like saying germs don't exist. Germs don't exist. Why is the milk gone bad? I don't know, germs don't exist. <laughs> don't wanna see also same thing. <laughs> Close two eyes, man. It ain't dirty if you don't know it's dirty. Yeah. If I don't know it's dirty, then it's definitely not dirty. You never run out of milk. <laughs> Just fill it with tap water. The forever milk. All you gotta do is go go to the tap. Yeah, that's, that makes me Jesus. I can turn water to wine. All I need to do is tink it. And the water will turn to wine. Easy, man. Easy. Easy peasy. That's how we roll. Alright, so based on the experiences, many things we can do better on the next attempt. But to be honest, the foundation is still the hugest cost. And boy, is that stuff expensive. Milk is better. It doesn't matter if it's all water. <laughs> doesn't matter. I can turn water to coke, but it's still just water. The box says milk. <laughs> sure it does. Sure it does. Well, then my bottle says it's wine. So of course it's wine. It can be no other. Also, these these power stations can be put outdoors, right? The water pump and the power station can you just put them outdoors? Because I remember in one of the tutorial missions, they weren't in any rooms. They were just outdoors with fences. So maybe we could save money by putting these outdoors and just running longer cables to bring them in. They break in rain. Oh, power station's not waterproof? Uh, right. Okay, so you do have to shelter it. Damn. I was just looking on ways to save money because the foundation is so expensive. 
we didn't even build all that much foundation, but the foundation is so expensive. That's why we ran out of money. Foundations cost a bomb, mate. A bomb. All right, so anyway, the main stuff is mostly done. Just don't have enough money for the bunks. Accountant cheats your taxes. Yeah, but that's not going to save us. Because you have to build a room. You need to build an office. You need to decorate the office, you know. Yeah, so getting an accountant isn't really going to save us. Can I? Yeah, I can get janitors now. But I don't have money. Wow, a janitor costs as much as a security guard. Yeah, those renter cops are just as bad as janitors. Too bad. Can't get no renter cops or janitors with the amount of money we have. We need a lot of cleaners. With a lot of cleaners, we might salvage this shenanigan. Yep, because it is so dirty everywhere. Doesn't look like anybody's dead yet. I'm not sure. Hmm. The cleaning personnel expensive or is the rent a cop cheap? Who knows? They cost the same. The rent a cops cost five hundred. The janitors cost five hundred. I guess they have the same amount of training. That's why the prisoners escape all the time. That's why the prisoners escape all the time. Because they're so well trained. They don't pay attention when everybody's trying to get away. Do they all shower at the same time? We set up a shower time. But if you get them all to shower at the same time, it's uh, it's a bit weird, isn't it? Let's try it. Yep, and then get some more shower, get some more shower heads in there. If they all shower at the same time, we're gonna need a lot more showers for sure. Maybe even more. Yeah, so we're gonna have four, eight, twelve, sixteen of them showering at once. Oh, we can get them to shower at different times? Right, but that's a lot more complication, right? Because you need multiple schedules. But I guess if you do it that way, you can save a lot on resources because you don't all, you don't all have them showering at the same time. That makes a lot of sense. But a lot more scheduling work. Yeah, like you could have different blocks shower at different times, you know? Because they all have the resting time, working time, and all that. If we just stagger it and have everybody, you know, because we can we can fix the number of people per per per, per cell block, right? We just we can calculate how many people will need to shower at the same time, build just enough showers, and then duplicate the cell blocks so they're always going to be exactly the same number of people. And that way, we can guarantee twenty people showering per session, and then that should work out pretty good. Mm hmm. Maybe anyway. So we haven't had a mass jailbreak thingy or even a riot yet, which is weird. Because everybody here should be rioting. We're overcrowded. We don't have bids. These guys are just standing around.
Yeah, I think that makes sense. I mean, you can assign... You can assign the time slot, right? I don't know how you assign different cell blocks to do this though. But worst case, you could assign like minimum security and then medium security shower at different times. Or even don't have that much free time and put two hours for showering. So that, you know, once people finish showering, the next guy will go in. They'll shower until the two hour time is up. Have them clean with education. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with uh, having prisoner labor, right? They'll start doing risky, nasty things. That is the risk that you will have to take if that's what you want to do. Alright, let's throw in some bunk beds now. Bunk beds. Oh, where's the bunk beds? Here. Bunk bed. There you go. And the toilet. No money? Okay. No money. Just do the bunk. And then close it up maybe. Yeah, exactly. You got my 500 bucks and immediately spent it. And I still need to close it and put a shower, uh, a toilet. But yeah, we could have one of them working. Oh wait, maybe I should have spent my 500 bucks on my cleaner. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if one janitor is going to change the world. But it might be. Never mind, we bought a bunk bed. Oh, yeah, someone needs to open the door. Or I can do it manually. A riot waiting to happen. We are triple out of space. Have I taken some grants? No, I actually haven't. I have not taken grants. How do we take grants again? Here. Alright. Uh, what do we do? Which one's good? Eco-friendly. Green power sources. Crack down on drugs. Well, we'll just take it. <laughs> so we're not gonna do it. Oh, it doesn't actually give it to you until you finish doing what they tell you to do. Basic detention. Turn an empty field into a functioning prison. This government contract gives you the funds necessary to build the absolute minimum facilities for your first set of prisoners. Ah, that's 30,000. Two guards, two cooks, can kitchen, canteen, yard, travel. We have it. Yeah, so we got the cash right away because we completed it already. The other one, we could not complete it, so we don't actually get the thing. Prison maintenance, how's that? Cleaning through bureaucracy, groundskeeping through bureaucracy maintenance. Let's try that. Okay. What do you need? Let's see. Two janitors, a gardener. Oh, okay, okay, that's not happening. Not yet. I have a bit of money, so I can actually f do something. Like, we can at least try to finish up one of the rooms. Toilets. Well, we'll have to run the 
toiletry connections. It's not smooth sailing, still needs to be done. Okay. Once these are done, I will put the doors in. Oh, we have a canteen and kitchen. It's just below. We've been close to writing for a really long time now, actually. Since we're at 39 out of 12. It's been close to writing for the longest time. Right now that the beds are coming in, uh, well, let's do the pipes first. Pipes need to be done. Oh, shower time! Can we get more showers in here? Maybe it's more efficient to shower with, uh, you know, these water sprinklers instead of actual showers. Anyway, we doubled up on that. So hopefully, this will do. Yeah, go shower with your clothes on. Sure that will end well for you. Oh, and I forgot to put the uh, drainage. The water is all spilling out. Drainage, man. Drainage. Where's the drainage? There you go. There you go, that should keep all the water from coming out. Looking pretty good. Making some good progress. We need lights though. And then after that, we'll do the doors. So that we don't require people to open it for them get all of that done doors will come in last not bad for a first prison <laughs> you think we got a call <gasps> there's a fire fire started in the kitchen yeah thanks for the warning or not warning Oh, you gotta pay for the f freaking fireman. Alright, one fire truck is fine. Oh crap, this is it. This is it, man. This is it. He's not doing anything. Which is weird.
prison break? Is there a prison break? No, no, nobody prison breaking, man. It's all good. Oh, you mean through this? That's possible. Definitely. Looks like all the prisoners... Oh, they are attempting to escape. They are. All of them are attempting to escape. <laughs> yeah. They're gonna fight the firefighters? Okay. Well, I mean, what can I do, right? The foundation's gone. Yep, off they go. It's okay though, we have a lot of uh, a lot of prisoners and we don't have space for all of them anyway. So if they really want to escape, that's kind of okay. Good, good, bye. Okay, an escape today. We do get punished for it, I'm sure we do. But we needed to let him go anyway because we just don't have the space. Look, now we have more space, you guys can have more fun. I'll get a warning for the warden. From the warden, okay. That's okay. We we're just learning how to play, it's an experiment. We'll do better next time. Hopefully. Hundred percent damaged, but we can repair it. It's just a sink. Hey, what's up, reversed? Yes, I know you can control the intake. I haven't done that because we were desperate. We needed money, but probably should be reducing the intake now. Um, yeah, fill capacity, no more. nice to get that cash influx and let them all get away but yeah we can't let them get away anymore the warden will probably get pissed all right so now that the double beds are in toilets are not in yet but double beds are in we can start looking into putting the doors and getting everything closed up Oh, wait till everything is done because there's still a bunch and not done yet. Alright, so some toilets are in, some stuff is in. Just want to make sure all of it's covered before we start to put the walls, I mean the doors in. The doors are a bit tough. To get working correctly.
Okay. There we go. The second cell, we double bidded it, so now we can take more, hopefully. First, gotta put doors in. Then we'll create cells out of them. Force prisoners to fix what? Um, prisoners are not allowed to work currently. You can give them the ability to work with research, but right now we don't have them doing any work. They're all just prisoners. There were lots of them too still. Even after a bunch of them escaped. We still have tons. Alright, bring in fresh produce. Alright. We're recovering slowly. Slowly recovering. I don't know, I thought I would lose the game already, but we haven't. We have enabled a lot of difficulty options as well, like there's gangs and then there's a whole bunch of other things. There's random events, there's all kinds of other stuff. So the assumption was that it wouldn't last very long. Because we had such huge money issues at the start. Maybe I should get more janitors and... Oh, daily budget's been broken. There's no way I can get enough cleaners. We just can't. Twenty four escapes today. But that's okay, right? What are they doing? <laughs> what are you guys pissed off, exhausted? Oh great. Alright, right. We'll we'll probably try another run next time and then uh Try to build a whole lot smaller. Maybe go with minimum sizes. Because early on you just don't have enough money. But once you get everything going and you're profitable. We could always demolish all the old buildings and replace them with bigger ones. But early on we just don't have that kind of money. We could not build a lot of the stuff we wanted to. Yeah, so it definitely makes sense to be more frugal early on, which is tough for me because I'm so hooked on overbuilding. <laughs> Even in Rimworld, start building these really massive buildings and overcommit to all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And here it's much more harsh than Rimworld. Rimworld's a lot easier to make some money and, you know, get going. You can sell stuff. And then build big. And you can always just harvest more material. Here you can't harvest anything. Well, I mean, technically there were trees we chopped down, but that's not giving us wood. It's still logs, which we can't actually use. But in real world, we could harvest resources, make money, trade, all that. So I don't know if we can do this. If we started a new game and then overbuilt, we would get stuck again for a while because we won't be able to build any and make any money which will take a long time to fix F 
Poof, boy, this place is busted up. Hmm. I I don't know what's going on. Oh, that's right, the equipment. Wait a second. Where did the fire start? This fire started from here, right? So we put out the fire and there was no problem. What are these guys up to? Hmm. Sink. Bridge. Oh, I guess, I guess the water pipes broke. Yeah, the water pipes broke. So we have to redo. Yep. Got those broken water pipes we need to fix. And then we can get cooking again, because without cooking, everyone's going to get really upset. Then there's no food. Too bad those that are here without a cell. I mean, without a, without a door. Without a door, I can't make these independent cells. Oh boy. Hmm. Why are the doors taking so long? Or maybe you just don't have enough workers. Oh, no, can't have them. See the daily budget. I don't know what they're doing, pushing each other around. What are you guys up to? Fridge, tall fridge, sink. Uh huh. We have them. Sort of. Oh yeah, maybe we should accelerate the... Yeah, that will help. There you go. Crack down on drugs. All right, let's uh, do a shakedown. Try to find some illegal narcotics. Ground keeping through bureau bureaucracy, right? Ground keeping. Oh wait, we are on to it. Yeah, we are on to it. We can do prison labor too. That's a whole other ball game. Come back to it at some point. Keep the tutorial stuff going for as long as possible. But of course it's looking pretty bad. Alright, so crack down on drugs, we're helping out. Monster, if I can just find one more.
Can I recruit some more now? No, it's still budgetary issues. Well, what do we have that's eating up all our budget? Not much. It's just a bunch of workers. That's not even that many. Yeah, but they're definitely derping up pretty hardcore over here. Or bring over themselves. Janitors just still exceeding. Oh my god, we'll never be able to get enough. Yeah, it looks bad. It looks bad. Even the delivery trucks are piled on because there's no space in the delivery section. Oh, did we lose control of this? Whoa. Whoa, that's nasty. Now they have a weapon. <laughs> anyway, I was expecting the riot to happen at any point. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it. We'll come back and try a new run and try to do it better that time. But this time, our first run, looking like everything is going to shit. We have money now though, so. But next time we start with a warden, build a warden thingy, and then start with start with all the warden stuff at the start. That will give us a bit more cash flow. And we wouldn't struggle that badly with the money. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the stream, had fun. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow all that good stuff. We'll see you guys real soon for the next one. Take care guys. Bye bye.